Hello, I'm Annette Kinsey from Leonard Jory and welcome to our April News. This month we're going to be talking about the beauty of diamonds. Not only are diamonds the birthstone for April, but they are one of the most magnificent of all the gemstones. So we're going to be talking about earrings, pendants, rings, and bracelets. Our diamond adventure begins with our diamonds for your ears. And we have chosen styles from studs to absolutely magnificent. Just to give you an array of choices and options in diamond earrings. And we want to begin first with the beauty and the simplicity of the diamond stud. So no matter what the size of the diamond, the stud is the ultimate in a diamond earring as far as something that you can wear every day or for special occasions. And with it, the idea also is that um, we do allow you to trade in your diamonds. So if you want to trade up as far as size, we can offer that option to you as a service. And so therefore you can get to as large of a diamond earring as you want. Um, but that option is always available to you with a purchase um, from Leonard Jewelry and our diamonds. And also with a simple stud, you can add a diamond jacket to it as well. So it gives you lots of versatility and lots of options with the diamond stud. New in the diamonds are the diamond climbers. And the fun part about the diamond climbers is it can be worn down as a dangle or you can wear it up on the ear. So you get a little bit of the curve going up to the curve of your ear lots of fun so you have different ways that you can wear it this particular pair in the yellow gold is with a graduated diamond and then we also have this one which is just cute because it's got a little bit of the squiggle and swirl so a very fun earring and again can be worn going up the ear so just fun takes by giving you two different pairs or two different looks with one pair of earrings then the classic elegant diamond hoop is always a staple and with the diamond hoop there's different options obviously as far as the size of the diamonds the size of the hoop itself and also they can be inside outside so you have the diamonds on the inside so you can see it from different any different angle but the beauty of the hoop is that it gives you that a little bit more of a punch of, a, of the diamonds and also just the classic style of the hoop earring. So again, it's a go with everything um, for any occasion type of diamond earring. And then this one is just magnificent because it has the stiletto um, look with the long elongated of the diamonds. And with this earring, we don't want you to feel like that it is extremely dressy because this is an elegant earring that can be worn for every day. Again, the elongated earrings are very much a fashion statement now. And with the simplicity of, and the linear design, it is not so dressy. It actually is just a statement in simplicity and design. We have so many diamond rings from which to choose and so much styling options um, that we just want to showcase a few of the ones that we're really excited about. This particular ring is a brand new ring and I call it our dream catcher ring. That's just what it looks like to me. But it's beautiful because it's got the sprinkle set diamonds, the interwoven rose gold design on the top, and it's a, just an, a beautiful classic round um, with a smaller shanks, but it's got a big impact and a big look for the ring. And then also to talk about wide bands are beginning to really come back uh, and make a, a big fashion statement. And even just with the wide bands, there's so many different options. So I've chosen some of the ones that are, these are all brand new styles, um, but this one is really, really cool because it has all different heights on the different bands as they are woven together. Um, the diamonds are sprinkled in them so you get kind of that high low um, just all the different intricacies of the ring that make it so unusual and so beautiful. It has the width but it has the openness also. 
and also with this one again you've got the openness of the design so in a wider ring if you feel like you can't wear the width on your finger this one has the openness so it's really forgiving on the ring style and then lots of options in the bands from the two here with the yellow and white gold combinations but with each band it is completely different as in the lacy design the openness some of it is geometric we have some of the woven with the space diamonds so each diamond ring is completely unique and different each of these again could be um, stacked with side bands on either side and you know with the white and yellow gold you can mix or, or match to do the yellow on the outside or the white so lots of different styling options with them and then with these um, three new bands very simplistic beautiful though in the way that it is the showing the beauty of the white gold this one with the three princess cuts and so you've got kind of the look of a stacked band but all into one um, this one with the beauty of the sim and the simplicity of the cathedral with the center stone with the side diamonds and this one with a simple bezel set so with all three of these very smooth to wear on your hand uh, flat so easy and very forgiving to wear and then three more options again of new ones that have styling options again with the openness of the different bands with the diamonds sprinkled on top um, one that has more diamonds so even though an intricate design they are closer set together not as much spacing and this one that's got the the beauty of the overlapping diamonds with it and again each of them can be um, added to if you want to stack with them or just wear the beauty of the diamond ring alone saying yes to our diamond bridle also offers many options and we're going to begin with the beauty of the diamond solitaire now this one does have some small diamonds on the side but the value of doing a diamond solitaire is that you're virtually putting all of your investment into the center diamond so therefore you can get as nice a diamond as you want or if the size matters more you have the option of choosing which you would rather do but with the diamond um, solitaire you can put it into a ring guard you can set a diamond band up next to it or it could be worn alone so again many options with just the simplicity of the diamond solitaire and again with the solitaire the, your choice of sh center shape as far as oval round marquees again many many different choices to choose from a modern design again is with the swirls the open design so not only as just a bridal ring but for maybe an upgrade of an anniversary band down the road this is a beautiful option um, and is also again something if you don't choose to do a center diamond that you could do with a colored gemstone as well so a beautiful ring um, all by itself making quite a statement but again options if you want to change the center the shape um, or the color of the center stone the halo continues diamond halo continues to be a very very popular ring this one set with the cushion uh, cushion shape for the center and the diamonds on the band a uh, very classic beautiful um, a, a diamond band can slide underneath here or you can do one on each side and also another option in the diamond halo which this one again has that the diamond is raised up a little bit versus the flush design that we just saw but the beauty of this is in the scallop design that goes around the diamond so it gives it a unique flavor to the diamond halo um, making it very different and really sets off the center diamond beautifully and then we also are again talking about the simplicity and the tradition of the diamond three stone again representing your past your present and your future 
It can be embellished in many different ways with the diamond halos going all the way around, um, or it can be just the, the three center diamonds as well. This one having diamonds on the side, so this one has a lot of bling and a lot of sparkle that goes with it. It's a beautiful ring, but the options with the three stone are unlimited as far as how much diamond you want or what you want done on the sides. Another option in our expansive collection of diamond rings are our diamond mountings. With the diamond mounting, then you can choose either to um, embellish again with a center diamond, you can do a colored gemstone, you can choose to set it with an heirloom um, diamond that you have that's been given to you. So you have all the options of how you want to set it or then you can take it as a mounting as well. This particular ring shows the vintage style, so we're seeing a lot of the retro looks, the vintage style of setting. Um, so it's the, the details are very fine, a little bit of the filigree, so it is a beautiful ring. Um, again, then the simplicity of just the elegance of the swirl setting off the center diamond but you've also got the play of the diamonds as it goes across the finger then we have this one which is very simple also very bold because it's got a strong design um, with the cathedral but the simplicity of the channel sets going around the center um, this is a ring that's available in white and yellow gold, all yellow gold, all white. So again, lots of options with this ring, but it's beautiful, it's simple, and it really shows off the center um, gemstone. Then this one, which again is the halo design. This one has the double halo going around, the, the row of the rose gold setting in the center, which accentuates against the white gold. So a beautiful design with a lot of diamonds. And then this one in the floral, again, we always see a lot of the floral designs. This one with the swirl of combining both the white and the yellow gold really sets off the ring design beautifully. Um, and again, with any of these, you have the options on your center for size, for color, um, clarity, price. So lots of options with our ring mountings. As we move from our fingers to our neck, we're looking at some of the new designs that we have in diamond pendants. This one, which I think is very fun and very unique because it has different shapes of the diamonds all combined in one necklace. Again, the small petite necklaces are very popular right now. They can be used either alone, um, just at the, at the nape of the neck, or can be done as layering with other necklaces. But this one's a perfect example of something that would sit at the nape of the neck um, and be beautiful either alone or um, layered with other diamond necklaces. This one again, we're getting the filigree design again, that um, age, uh, yesteryear feel with the um, scalloped edge with the, with the diamonds. And again, how they're set very compact, it really gives you a lot of sparkle um, from the diamonds themselves. And another option again with the filigree, which we're finding to be so very popular and desirable is this one, which is set with the combination of the rose gold in the lacy design with the diamonds and then again accentuated with the white gold chain. And then again, talking about the importance of the diamond pave, and this one with being the, the disc necklace, again, beautiful worn singly and alone, or can be combined with other necklaces in layering. But with this, you get the, the pave, meaning diamond set to diamond. So you get just the impact of all the diamonds together, and it makes a beautiful statement on the neck. We're going to complete our diamond journey with talking about bracelets, diamond bracelets. And when I think when we think of diamond bracelets, we think of elegance and simplicity. This being the diamond line bracelet is kind of the ultimate as far as just simplicity, 
an easy statement, again, something that can be worn for every day or for dressy occasions. And with the diamond line bracelet like this, it can be in this one, the yellow gold, rose gold, white gold. Um, again, just a, a lot of movement and easy to wear. Also the diamond line bracelet in this, which is the bangle. So you've got the stiffness and the design of it, but it stays in place. It's oval to fit um, beautifully on the wrist and you have just the elegant simplicity of the diamonds as it goes across the top of your arm. And then again, the vintage feel. This one is beautiful in the detailing because it's got the, the elegance of the diamonds as in the center surrounded by the smaller diamonds. And again, it just gives a look of yesteryear and just a beautiful statement of a bracelet. And then this one, which is a little bit more modern in design, we've got um, multi rows. It does have flexibility with each of them, each row having several diamonds placed on it with bezel sets, so it is smooth and easy to wear. And we also have the option in the back of adjusting for um, the length on it, so it is very comfortable to wear because it is very flexible. So with the diamonds, you have the option of width, simplicity, design and style, and so many options to choose to really adorn and make your wrist look beautiful. Thank you for joining us for our April news. We hope that you have found some diamonds that have brought a sparkle to your step, and we hope that your month will be showered with many blessings.